welcome to bsc statistics students now in this class i explain two square factorial experiment the definition of two square factorial experiment what is meant by this experiment the two square factorial experiment which consists of two factors two square which consists of two factors at each of two levels so here i should uh, explain s power n where n indicates this indicates factors the number of factors so therefore two indicates number of factors there are two factors and s which indicates levels how many levels are there there are here this two indicates level the two levels and two factors this is two square factorial experiment for example you consider a capital a and capital b are two factors in the experiment and if you indicate the small a and small b are two are the second level second level corresponding to the factors a and b if we want to indicate the second level of a we should indicate small a and small b and uh, of factor b second level of factor b the small b and what about the first level the first level are indicated by corresponding absence of the letter if the let if a is not there then it is an indication of first level of a factor a if b is not there it is an indication of the first uh, first level of factor b based on this knowledge now you consider if you consider a1 a1 is the first level of the factor a first level of the factor a and b1 this is the first level i'll tell you a very particular uh, terminology each and every terminology a1 first level of factor a and b1 the first level of factor b and a2 similarly and b2 b2 is second level of level of factor a b2 second level of factor b these are the some minimum uh, we have considered i will tell you just now i explained that uh, if a is not there then it is an indication of first level i will show you similarly everything now the combination of factors if you consider the treatment combinations for example in the two square factorial experiment there are how many treatment combinations uh, will be obtained for two factors at two levels it is going to be explained it is going to be considered now if we consider for example based on this knowledge a1 b1 which indicates what what it indicates the first level of a and first level of b this is one combination of treatment it is uh, generally indicated by 1 it is indicated by 1 which means a1 b1 which indicated by 1 1 it is the uh, one such combination does not have a and b therefore it is uh, it indicates both the factors a and b at first level first level you see this is what the first combination 
And similarly, if you consider A to B1, which indicates A, this is in this in this is nothing but A. A to B1 is A. Why? Why? Because A, A is at second level, therefore we are representing A. B is at first level, therefore we should not write B. In the absence of B, B indicates, in the absence of B, it indicates the first level. A presents, hence it is at second level. That is, the factor A is at second level. And the factor B is at first level. First level. Do you understand this? And similarly, you consider this is the first possible combination. This is the second one. Third one, A1, B2, which indicates B. Because B is at, the factor B is at uh, second level. Therefore, we are indicating B. A is not here. A is not represented here. Therefore, it indicates the first level of A. The absence of A it indicates the first level. That is, A is at first level and B is at second level. Right? So, therefore, this is the third combination. The fourth treatment combination. It is A to B to. That is, both the a and B are at second level. Therefore, you should indicate both A and B. You should write A and B. Therefore, A and B are at second level. Both A and B are at second level. So, this is what the, the combinations are going to be represented. The treatment combinations. This is the way we represent the treatment combinations. Uh, at two different levels of A and B, two factors A and B, which are going to be represented. So, therefore, if you consider the degrees of freedom, I should explain one more, that is the degrees of freedom. And if you consider the treatment, four treatment combinations by using RBD or LSD, randomized block design or Latin square design, then you will have 4 minus 1, that is uh, 3 degrees of freedom. But this 3 degrees of freedom in the 2 square factorial experiment, it is divided, it is splitted into the 1 degrees of freedom, 1 degrees of freedom for factor A, for factor B, for interaction effect, it is going to be considered as AB. These are these two are called main effects A and B and AB is interaction effect. For these three, one degrees of freedom, each one degrees of freedom is going to be splitted so that the total degrees of freedom is three for treatment. That is treatment effects. If you consider treatment effects, there are three kinds of treatment effects. Which one is due to the factor A, another one is due to the factor B. And another one is due to the factor AB, the combination. It is called interaction effects. Uh, it is called interaction effect AB. Now, this is what two square factorial experiment. If we consider two factors at two levels, uh, these are the some particular fundamentals which, which are to be explained in, in the two square factorial experiment. We should consider, we should remember. 1, A, B, A, B. These are the four combination of total treatment combinations. Four treatment combination. We should remember this. The absence of the letter, that is factor, it indicates first level. The presence indicates second level. For example, A present here, it indicates second level of A and first level of B. Similarly here B, the presence of B which indicates B at second level 
and the factor A absence of factor A, that is A, the factor A at first level. A, B both present here. Therefore, it is a both A and B factors, uh, both factors, both the factors A and B are at uh, second level. One indicates uh, it is a absence of both A and B. So, therefore, both the factors A and B are at first level. You should remember these fundamental uh, terminology for the 2 square factorial experiment. Not only the terminology, the entire definition which includes this, this, this uh, terminology. Hope you understand. This is the definition of 2 square factorial experiment. Thank you.